Hello, philosophers, and welcome now back from the weekend. Well, sunny and professional and extremely creative, I would say, when it comes to your career right now. The moon is conjuncting Venus in Virgo today in the house of career for Saggies. That means two things. On one hand, emotionally, you're kind of tied to issues of career. So legacy, career, wanting to get that promotion. Your heart is really in it and hungry today. On the flip side, you may be a bit sensitive in that arena, so really be open and work with the universe a bit. But the moon conjuncting Venus is kind of a foreshadow of a whole month of fertility for you when it comes to your career. This, in the next few weeks, is going to be a fertile time for you to start ideas or start the ball rolling, so to speak, or plant the seeds for things that will later turn into full fruit for you to bear in the soul garden metaphor, so to speak. So don't expect too much in the moment, but realize that a lot of the conversations or deals you're making now may indeed turn into something great for you. So definitely put your heart into it. Don't be too sensitive and listen to the signs of the universe. In fact, signs of the universe are the clue right now. The sun's still in Cancer, but ruled by Neptune today. That tells me that you're still very much focused on intimate connections, boundaries, intimacy, maybe even uh, dealing with someone who has passed on to the other side, still mourning in that regard. There's still a few days left of this transit where Sagittarians are coming into their new trust paradigm or their new sense of connectivity to someone else. This has been a very deep issue for you, especially since you've rewritten your soul since the summer of 1996. And this Saturn transit in the ninth has been tough too, rewriting your belief structure. Sagittarians have been going through complete change. And now you are going to be wrapping up how you really approach intimacy, where your trusts are, and how you will connect to the other side. That has all been the topic, especially with the Mercury retrograde in Cancer. Although Mercury is no longer in retrograde, we're still affected by it because Mercury now has to catch up. That means that as next month moves on and you launch your new belief structure, you'll still be carrying out details about trust issues, boundaries, and in particular, if you've been involved with someone intimate and this has been the, the sole expression of this lesson for you, expect this to go on for at least another month. All right, Sag, that's not bad news. Everything wants you to be happy. I'll see you tomorrow with more Soul Horoscopes. Live, love, be. Soul.